Hey guys, it's Nambla Gaming here with another Clash Clan D2 video. And today I'm gonna do some war replays and some very weird moments. And I will be announcing something very special at the end of this video, so make sure to stick to the end. So first let's go into the war area. And first of all, we're gonna watch an attack by oh gosh, what's it what's it called? Up here. By Tony. So let's watch this attack. So this attack has one very weird glitch or troop AI that I really want Clash of Clans to fix. So if Clash of Clans is watching this, please take into consideration what I'm saying here. So he's doing a standard go wipe with the extra troops on the end. Um, his heroes are not maxed out, but he should be doing fine on this raid. And so let's see, let's speed up this raid. I'm going to speed up this raid and it's going to be more of a technical video. I'm going to show you two raids in this video. It's going to be very technical. But, um, you know, just a little bit of glitches here and there, too. So let's go. So I'm going to fast forward this raid. He first draws out the clan castle troops. And this balloon here is going to be end up to be really pesky. Because as you notice, these clan castle troops here are going for this archer. And he's going to put more troops over here. Which is great. You want to draw the troops out away from the golems in this raid. As you notice, this balloon, for some reason, decides to go for the golem. Now that sucks. Because, go you know, balloons do so much damage. And golems can't do anything to a balloon so that golem is going to take huge massive damage as you notice he has one more golem he's going to place it up near this cannon but he's going to have one more golem on the raid and that's from his clan castle he should have put his clan castle down earlier but he did not realize it and i'll show you that why in that minute so he takes all these clan castle troops out over here but this pesky balloon over here is going to come and destroy that golem so as he realizes that he's like oh no oh no now he's going to put his pekkas down quickly and that wizard luckily is going to take that out so here we go that golem's already really low health and luckily that wizard barely takes that balloon out just before and okay now he puts all his pekkas down and his clan castle there it is the golem if he put that on earlier it would have definitely helped the raid a lot more made him get actually two stars he would have gotten two stars but he ran out of time but you know what everybody makes mistakes it's all good so let's see here. Then fast forward the raid because there's not much to see. Just rages up some stuff. Jump spell. Uh, do actually double freezes this. He does not use a jump spell. Well, the troops for some reason don't use a jump spell. And the king's gonna go down. Okay, so now it starts to get a little bit weird. So as you see, this wizard. Okay, the thing we're gonna watch is this wizard here and that archer there. So just well, actually just the wizard. So watch this wizard over here. So, we're going to slow down the raid a lot. As you see, the queen is going to work, going ham. Now, there's like three pekkas in here and a king that's going to die in like two seconds. So now, as you notice, this wizard starts to... Well, he... Whoa! Okay, we're going to watch that again. Um, we're going to watch this actually twice. The reason the wizard looks like he's not shooting anything is when he's just about to shoot the pekka and the king. Take out the skeletons so he does not shoot. And see that? He does that three times. And now, again... Now, he's going to go for the wall. As you notice, he's going for the wall for no apparent reason. Which, you know, the Arch Queen loves that, but she's a totally different story. But anyway, let's watch this. So he's still going for the wall. 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 Even though, the, obviously, the nearest defensive st the nearest structure is now the Elixir Pup. Not the gold storage, but it still goes for the wall. Even after the air defense is down, he still goes for the wall. Now watch what happens. Watch when this wall goes down. Watch what the wizard does. Boom, and now the wizard goes off the wall to the elixir pump, making the Tesla rise, which ends up destroying the raid. If that Tesla did not rise, he literally would have gotten 50%. That tiny little AI glitch screwed it up. Watch what happens. Now the Tesla pops up, of course, kills the wizard, and now kills the archer. Come on, look at that. There's a sliver of health, and that cost him the entire freaking raid i mean that's just sucks so let's speed up this raid a little bit more so as you know he's gonna raise one archer left 43 percent um just kidding he's gonna get barely get that town hall 44 and i was gonna get 46 so if he destroyed that he would have gotten 47 or 48 percent let's just see what happens because each bone's worth one and a third points up when you have town hall 10 so let's see he destroys that and Let's see, that did not cost him the raid itself because it couldn't have gotten that 3%. But it still is a bad glitch. And let me show you that replay one more time. It's weird. I'm going to just speed this up and talk while I'm going. 
The Archer was, remember, it was shooting. The Archer never, ever, ever moved, and the Tesla never, ever, 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 ever popped up. Once the Tesla popped up, it started shooting the Archer, but that's weird, because when the Tesla was down, it did not shoot the Archer. It should have been up if it was in range already. Uh, I'll explain that so it makes more sense when the Tesla comes popping up. So, just the raid is going, you know, okay. So, now, as I'll show you the wizard again. So, as you see, the wizard here... Oh, but stop, okay. <laughs> so, the wizard is going to try to shoot at the skeletons, but it gets killed. And they keep getting killed by the P.E.K.K.A. and the Archer and the King. So, now, as you see, it stutters a couple times. So, here you go. See, the Archer is right here. Right here. It does not move one little millimeter or pixel on the screen. Now, the Tesla is not popping up. And the archer never moves. And watch what happens. So once again, let me speed this up really quickly because it's kind of boring to watch him shoot at a ball. Now the wall goes down. Now, now, now the wizard deploys a Tesla trap for no apparent reason. Then, the, then it should it should kill the wizard. It should kill the wizard. But by main logic, unless I'm missing something completely different, and you guys can reply in the comments below. The archer should not get shot because it's out of range. If it was in range, the Tesla would have already popped up. Watch what happens. It zaps the wizard. Great, the wizard is done. But now, the archer should not get shot. But it does. That's so weird. So anyway, that's that first glitch. Oh, well, that's the last glitch I'm going to show you. Now, I want to show you a sweet defensive base that you might recognize here. And you guys probably know what it's called, the Gem 3.0 base. And I based it off of Jack's base. This base is just amazing. La I can't show the replay because the replay is not here. But last war, he got one starred by Max Go Wipe. Once again, he's getting uh, one starred by Go Wipe. In this raid, this is an amazing, well, anti three star, pretty much anti two star. This is amazing. So big props to Jack here. So this raid starts out as usual, just drawing up the Clan Castle troops um, with the hogs. And barely gets all the hog, uh, clan castle troops out. Now, the uh, witch does um, uh, act as a big problem to uh, off board, but you know he does deal with the clan castle troops. Um, the reason this base is so good is well, first of all, it, it's an anti three star, and second of all, his use of his funnel up here near these archer towers. One really big key part of this was why this cannon here was destroyed near that archer uh, gold mine, and you'll see why in one minute. So once he destroys all those troops, he's going to put down his other troops. He starts with the golems, which then go through the funnel here. They, and now one more golem. But as you notice, this golem would have gone for the cannon here. But, in fact, it walks all the way around near the spell factory, then into the funnel. That wastes a ton of time in the raid. And also, the golem takes damage instead of going right to the core, which actually he might have gotten two star if that happened. But anyway, it walks all the way around the entire base to the funnel. That funnel is very, very effective. Even now he's freaking out, putting all the wall breakers down. But still, the golem goes into the funnel. Okay, so now he puts down his two heroes. And he starts to attack. And he should put his P.E.K.K.A.s down very soon. You're going to see this funnel go to work right now. The bombs are going off. Trap, spring trap, rage spell. Oh, there he goes. The little mini golemite goes flung off the map. Okay, now he puts down his P.E.K.K.A.s. As you see now. Because he destroyed that cannon earlier, the P.E.K.K.A.'s the nearest structure, for some reason, is a builder hut. So that cost another big part. Here we go. And the reason I'm saying this might have been a two-star is they might have gone around here near this builder hut, came in through the expo and the air defense, and came in through for the town hall. But that might just be me. But still, this base is amazing. Now, I'm going to watch this watch this replay here. Once they get in here, it's pretty much the death bowl. They have two expos, double splash damage of the wizard towers, and the mortar, or slash mortars, if the mortar wasn't destroyed. It's crazy. It's like they get in the center and they get destroyed, like a point of a black hole or a troll base. Um, these kind of remind me of hyper bases, as I said, in my Gen 3.0 base build, because they protect the town hall and the loot. This one just protects the town hall. But the good thing about this is that leaves room for centralizing the clan castle, which is very nice. Um, sorry this kind of might be a little bit boring, but I'm just trying to analyze Clan Cast- I can't even speak today once. Analyze the <laughs> war raids and analyze really good bases. Just because I think you guys will really benefit from this knowledge. So here we go. As you see, there's virtually no way you can get the uh, Town Hall because there are Teslas around that Town Hall. So let's just speed up the rest of the raid. Um, luckily, Pekka's clean up the outside of this uh, base here. As you see, the Teslas do pop up. And 
the pulp, I think, at 51%, and there's no way you can get the rest of the percentage. So yes, that is an amazing defense by Jack. Props to you once more. So, anyway, so I, at the end of the video, I mean, in the beginning of the video, I promised I'd tell you something very special. Thank you guys so much for watching to this point. So, you know I have 81 subscribers. I had 75 subscribers, like, 24 hours ago. This is amazing. Thank you so much for all these subscribers. But, now, for the 100 subscriber special, I would like you guys to vote on what I should do. So, down in the comments below, vote on what I should do. I'm thinking of doing a gift card giveaway. Not too much money, maybe like five or ten dollars. Not too much money, but just a little bit, you know? Just to give back to you guys for all the thanks and stuff you uh, helped me grow this YouTube channel. And also, this just a little maybe thing, I might do a gemming spree, you know? Like, not too much, because it's not a big channel yet, but just a small gemming spree, but you guys can choose what you want me to do. Maybe, like, 30 minutes, I'll Barching, collecting tons of resources, or I don't know, cl live clan war raid, or um, I don't know, trolling somebody on Minecraft, you know, or if I could possibly do that. Yeah, so just leave down in the comments below what you want me to do. So, yeah, this is Neema Gaming. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.